Runaway leaders, Paris Saint-Germain travel to 19th place. Lorient aiming to further extend their already sizable gap at the summit, heading into the winter break. But the autumn champions found it difficult, despite a Lorient side who had lost seven on the trot. Enzo Lefe laying it on a plate, but what a finish here. Stunning from Thomas Moncundui. Kira Navas having made saves before, but no chance there. Lorient looked to hold on after Sergio Ramos saw red. Asha Akimi with a dazzling run. Picked out Maru Icardi to snatch a point for Le Parisien with a header in the 92nd minute. Nice welcome loans to the Allianz Riviera for a game that promised entertainment. And certainly delivered. I know Calamuendo denied just before, this time sneaking his effort through the legs of Walter Benitez. And Lons' second shot of the night had resulted in the first goal, but Nice came alive in the second half. A stunning goal from Mario Lamina. His first in Nice colours with that acrobatic volley. And then Justin Cliver cut through the Lons defence for just his second goal of the season to secure all three points. Marcy were looking to secure second place heading into the winter shutdown. But they were stunned with 15 minutes to go. Hugo Eketeke onside to fire past Po Lopez. Denied the Spaniard a 10th clean sheet of the season. The eighth time a sub had scored for Rans, but there was to be drama at the end after Bamba. Dieng was sent off for a horror challenge. It looked as if this chance had gone in injury time, but Dimitri Payet rolling around, Andrew Gravignon catching him with the foot, and Payet stood up to smash in his seventh of the season, an early Christmas present for OM. Well, Monaco hosted Rennes, looking to sneak into a spot alongside their high-flying opponents in the race for Europe. Things didn't exactly go to plan at first, Martin Terrier playing a 1-2 with Keita Nabor before slotting into the bottom corner for his ninth of the season. The Monegasque were handed a lifeline though by a VAR check resulting in a penalty. Handball against Amari Traore. And that allowed Wissam Penyeder a chance for 12 yards and to move into double figures for the league and Uber Eats season. And with just 18 minutes left, it was the captain who started the move that ended with his strike partner finding the winner, Tofian Diop, into the area. Kevin Folland with a vital winner, just his fourth league goal of the season. Two sides on the cusp of European spots met at the Stade de la Mosson as Montpellier looked to extend their winning streak against an Angers side fresh from a wrong end of a cup upset. Deje Savani certainly got things kicking on 14 minutes. Paul Bernardoni going the wrong way, and it was all wrong for the returning goalkeeper, the ex Bordeaux man, back from illness, making a hash of things as Montpellier made it 2 0. Well, after Nicola Coza had done that, there was another farce at the other end. Matias Pereira lashed with his first of the season to pull the visitors back into contention on half time. But then Mahilo Rustic smashing in to make things a little bit more comfortable. And it was back-to-back four-on wins for Olivier Daolio's high-flying Montpellier. Valère Germain denied initially. And Steffi Mavadidi reacting for 4-1. On the bottom side, Saint-Étienne called in the fireman. Pascal Dupre, the man known for his rescue jobs with Evier. And to lose even Korn in Ligue 2 Becquete. A tougher job with Lever. I know Nordin could have made things easier. But a fine save from Albert Lafont. And there was to be heartbreak at the end. Rando Colo Moani with skillful dribbling feet. And Lever facing a miserable Christmas. 
His seventh of the season. Sending on seventh. The resurgent reigning champions Lille took the long journey southwest to Bordeaux. But they found a striker in form. Tap in for Albert Ellis. And Honduran making it four goals in six league games. And then Benoit Costil beaten by a thunderbolt. 41st goal that Bordeaux had conceded. Certainly the Girondin always involved in high scoring games. Too much probably for Vladimir Petkovic's liking. But we certainly would have loved the Panthers finish. As he roared the home side back into the lead. Elite one two with Yassin Adli. But then it was the two stars of the show from their league title winning season. Burak Yilmaz from the penalty spot. And then despite his agent confirming that the Canadian international would leave in the summer, Jonathan David continued to be the darling of Le Dog. A brilliant finish for his 12th of the season. And a brilliant win for the champions. Antoine and Bresse met for the first time in the French top flight since 2013 at the Stade de l'Aube. Those looking to arrest a worrying slide down the tables. Well, the Pirates' six-match winning run had come to an end last time out. The Franck Honorat got them back in that fine feeling, only for Brest to hit the self-destruct button. Adel Rami equalising despite not knowing very much about it. The World Cup winner earning a well-earned point for Estac. Peter Boss certainly under pressure. He would have been delighted when his young 19-year-old defender Castello Lucaba leapt highest from a corner to head home his first senior goal. And yet all problems soon reared their heads. In fact, just three minutes later, a stylish equaliser. Despite his young age, Bubakar Traore with a lovely piece of composure. And then a finish. Anthony Lopez unable to get a strong enough hand. As Mess grabbed a point, Peter Bosch's future under the microscope. Well, 25 goals across a weekend, but there could have been more and it been possible to see anything at Clermont. Fogg seeing that match postponed. Strasbourg's Ludovic Adjoic will have to await his Lancier reunion. Autumn champions PSG end 2021 with their 13-point advantage intact, but it's Nice now who are second after their win and OM slip. Only six points separate second from ninth. Very similar at the bottom, just one point separates Lorient in 19th to Troyes in 15th. Sante still adrift despite Dupre's arrival. Lorient denied a vital extra couple of points after letting slip against Paris. The campaign restarts the 7th of January with Bordeaux, Marseille and Lyon hosting PSG on Sunday night. Until then, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all at Ligue 1 Uber Eats. See you next year.